Hey guys, it's me Stephanie coming to you to do an uh, update. I am post-op gastric bypass ruin Y. My surgery date was September 9th, 2013 and my weight was uh, 250. My surgery weight was 225 and my current weight is right between 125 and 130 depending on the day. Um, so I'm happy about that. I wanted to update you on some of the changes I'm doing um, physically post-op uh, cosmetic procedures that I've done and that I am now planning on doing. The Well first I'll start off with my face. I mentioned in some previous videos that I was interested in getting um, like injectable things so I did and I will go over what I did so first I did Botox in my forehead and in right here in these lines and I had like four lines up here and as you can see I can raise my eyebrows but I can't wrinkle my forehead anymore um, also I did Juvederm in my smile lines and Restylane in my lower eyes and my top lip. So overall, I am happy with the results. Um, sorry about that. The TV came on. <laughs> anyway, so I, I've done that. I don't plan on doing anything else to my face for some time. Um, I'm really happy with the way everything came out. So, on to the body. Last week, I met with a doctor, a plastic surgeon, and this week, I met with another one. And they both seemed like fine doctors, but I've decided to go with the second one. I felt he was more um, thorough in explaining everything, and I liked his ideas better um, than the first doctor. The first doctor recommended an extended tummy tuck. So that is just um, a bikini line incision that extends a little bit further um, on your hip than a regular one would do. And then he recommended a breast augmentation, submascular, and with a nipple lift. And um, so yeah, at first I thought I was going to go with him until I met the second doctor. And his idea for me is doing what they call a fleur de lis. Um, incision for my tummy tuck. That's where they cut out the top. They make two parallel parallel lines. Well, I guess not exactly parallel, but they start um, by your breastbone, the center of your chest, and they cut down in like an angle. He calls it a witch's hat cut. So if you can imagine how a witch's hat looks, the point would be in between my ribs, and then they would go down. And then I would also have um, the bikini line incision as well. And I like this idea better um, because he said that he would be able to remove most of my uh, surgery scars that I had from last year with the, the way he would do his incisions. And that has me thrilled. Um, the other doctor said he could try and maybe remove one from my feeding tube spot that is really big and ugly. Um, I might show you if I have the guts by the end of this video. Um, so yeah, so he recommended that and he, the second doctor recommended um, just trying implants to see if they would work without having to do a nipple uh, raise or a lift. Um, he said that it is possible after I get my implants that I might still want to lift and that that would be have to be another procedure but if we can avoid the lift um, that'd be great so so yeah even though I will have an incision that goes you know from my sternum to my bikini line down my stomach um, I'm gonna be getting rid of like five scars and so I think that's a pretty cool trade and they make monokinis and nobody will see it so when <clears throat> excuse me um yeah that's about all that's going on um i guess i will show you my stomach and my scars and i'll show you where the incisions will be i will not be showing you my breasts sorry and <laughs> not that you want to see them anyways but here let me 
let me get you to my tummy tum. So I am, uh, I forgot to mention, I do have my surgery date for the plastic surgery. It is uh, February 12th. So I'm very excited about that. Okay. So make sure that I am acceptable. Sorry. Okay. So you see all these scars here. This is the one um, that the doctor was going to, he was going to make like a crescent cut and then fold this over. So I would just have a small uh, scar there. But the second doctor is going to cut from here to here, bring my sides together. It sounds so gruesome. <laughs> and then, you know, under my belly button or in my bikini line. I like the idea of this too because it's going to pull in my sides and give me more of a waist, if you can see it. You know, I get a little bit more curve than if you were just to pull down. Um, I'm also going to be having muscle repair. Um, pregnancies and heavy weight gain in your front can cause your abdominal muscles to separate, which can um, can make a protruding tummy. So. We're going to get that tightened, and uh, I'm really excited about that. So, anyways, thanks for watching, and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye.